Good morning. So today I'm going to answer a question. A lot of you have been going through deliverance and you're having dreams of throwing up and you're like, why do I keep throwing up in my dreams? I, I'm throwing up. What does that mean? So this question has come in so much that I'm going to make a video. So we have it placed somewhere so you guys can refer to that video instead of me in answering individual individually to each person amen okay so i'm gonna explain something really simple initially uh holy spirit help me so the earth was given instructions in genesis chapter 1 verse 24 the god told the earth let the earth bring forth living creatures vegetation so the earth was given instructions to bring forth living things the human being the the animals the vegetation all of us come from earth right and so the earth her job is to get seeds right spiritual seeds and physical seeds so physical seeds are things such as a farmer will plant seeds and then they'll harvest them right those are physical seeds spiritual seeds are your words and your actions right and that goes back to genesis chapter 8 verse 22 which says as long as the earth remains seed time right sowing seeds and harvest will never stop okay so the earth knows its job she is a womb and every time you plant seeds spiritual or physical there's going to be a harvest that comes forth right so people are throwing up because there have been seeds that were not supposed to be in you now a person a human being is a spirit being with her soul and a physical body right your true self is a spirit and you have our soul, which is your mind, your will, your emotions, and your intellect, and you're housed within a physical body, right? So if you're dreaming, that is your spiritual being, your spiritual human spirit is interacting in the spiritual realm. And when you are throwing up, it means that your spirit is throwing up something that was not good for it, right? Our human spirit should only be eating instructions, books, scrolls, and the word of God. That's it. God only gave our human spirit to interact with him. And the only spiritual food you can get is the Bible, the word of God, worship, praise your human spirit should only be eating those kind of things but people have had dreams where there are are given food in their dreams and those dreams are detrimental to your health they're detrimental to your life they're detrimental to your destiny and so if you're seeing that you're dreaming of vomiting you are vomiting up things that you were not supposed to have eaten ingested in your dreams you ate from the table of the enemy and now because you are going through fasting, praying, intercession, deliverance, God is showing you that your spirit is getting delivered, delivered from things that were in it. Contaminations, deposits that are demonically orchestrated to bring you down, to stop your life and now you're getting freed from all of that. Okay, now why did I bring up the earth initially? In the book of Leviticus chapter 18, verse 24, I'm going to start from verse 24, but you're welcome to please read verse 1 through 23 to know what these things are. Do not defile yourselves with any of these things, for by all of these the nations are defiled, which I am casting out before you. So God cast out nations before the children of Israel that were defiled. When people sin, the nation gets defiled. 25, for the land is defiled. Therefore, I visit the punishment of its iniquity upon it. So when a nation commits iniquity sins, it becomes defiled, which means unclean. And when it is unclean, God visits its punishment upon it because the earth's instructions were given in Genesis 1 24, bring forth living things, living creatures, living vegetation. It's not supposed to become, it's not supposed to be bringing forth sin because the wages of sin is death. So it gets punished, right? The land is defiled. There, therefore, I visit the sins, the punishment of its iniquity upon it and the land vomits out its inhabitants remember the earth gets spiritual seeds 
and physical seeds. If we're not farmers, we're going to be giving it spiritual seeds. If I'm not a gardener, I'm going to be giving it spiritual seeds. My words, my actions. Amen. And so when there is so much sin in a land, God punishes the earth itself because it has sin defiling it. And the way the earth gets rid of that sin is it vomits out its inhabitants. Okay? So vomiting comes in because vomiting is required to expel something out of you that is not good for it. Uncleanness comes out through vomiting. Sin was in there. It comes up and out. And now the land is no longer defiled. Amen? I want to also uh, point out Proverbs chapter Proverbs 26 verse 11 says, As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool re repeats his folly. So I don't have a dog, so I can't really speak on this properly. But um, this Proverbs is telling us that as a dog returns to his own vomit, so somebody who is foolish returns to their foolishness. When you get set free from things, when you are delivered and you vomit up things, your spirit is getting delivered and that is your truest self getting delivered. Therefore, your physical life is going to be better. You're going to get more breakthrough, more revelation, closer to God. You're going to be able to scale walls and run through troops. It's just going to get more peace, more joyous in your life. Amen. And so it's saying like, as a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool returns to his folly. If you end up doing the things that you used to do that opened up the spiritual doors for demonic entities who have legal access, legal rights into your life, you are likened, you are compared to a dog that returns to his own vomit. So once you have seen yourself getting delivered in your dreams, you have vomited up things in your dreams. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please don't start don't start um, visiting things that you previously used to do. If you used to smoke cigarettes and God delivered you from that, don't go back. If you used to drink pounds of alcohol and God delivers you from that, don't go back. Okay, because you are likened compared to a dog who goes back to his vomit. Because vomit is something that is a, something bad is within you and you have to bring it up so you can have peace so your so your belly can have peace amen um so yes i also want to mention here that listen temptations are there temptations are everywhere um but god gives you a way out when temptations arises okay a temptation is not a sin. Temptations are going to always be around. However, your job is not to act on that temptation. If you're getting tempted to do something that you used to do previously and God delivered you, delivered you mightily from that um, bondage, I recommend that you start to worship. Just start to worship God. Read a Bible. Like Just refocus on something else refocus on building up your spirit and not the flesh whenever you're getting tempted don't act on that temptation because if you act on it you're feeding the flesh to be carnally minded is sin and death to be spiritually minded is life and peace 